Hello and thanks for watching another video. This time we're going to be covering connections to your devices, COM ports, and so on. So usually that's one of the biggest troubleshooting questions I get is how do I connect my data logger? Things like that. So with a wide variety of products, we have anywhere from the Cobra to a Hulog, we have the burn to chip burner, a FTD, DI, TTL, USB converter, which is um, the Hulog in like a smaller package, a burner logger combo, anything you need to use, right? It's going to use a serial COM port and uh, basically you go into settings and you'll see here, the settings is already helping you out because you can choose your product. So Cobra RTP, for instance, um, the right now it's on a smart port scan, but uh, which is fine. This totally works most of the time. Um, I experience setting it up like this and as long as my drivers are installed for each product, because you do need to do that before you use your Hulog, it's best to install their FTD uh, DI drivers. And, um, okay. And, uh, yeah. And then so on with the burner too. And then Cobra, you want to install their drivers because uh, then you'll get these faster baud rates and such. So... Uh, when you do that, you, you basically just go to their website and grab their drivers and you extract it to a folder here and then you just do the setup for it and it does everything you need to. Once those are installed, the COM ports usually link up pretty good, but if they don't, then what you can do is right click on the windows logo two finger tap two finger click whatever you had to do choose device manager and then you'll have an area here where it shows your ports now i don't have anything plugged in but this is an easy way to figure out a port so let's say for instance this guy i'll plug it in here on this side sorry i am using my wife's little crafting table here so ports showed up and we have a port and it's com6 now typically uh, rule of thumb is you want to set this speed to the speed of the connection what I've, I've experienced is you can actually just max out the number and then it will allow up to that speed on this connection so going from there we know since we just plugged it in com6 popped up because if we unplug it it disappears we plug it back in and it reappears right so another way to go around this or to go about it is in hts we have a com port helper so on the info at the top COM port helper. It tells us that this will help you find the component, uh, so find the COM port of your device. Make sure device is unplugged and click yes. Otherwise, click no to close this window. I'm trying to read it through the phone. It's all pixelated. So it's not plugged in. We'll click yes. Push enter. We're going to plug it in. And then hit OK. We'll wait about three to five seconds. Com six. So now we know. Oh, I want a data log. My my data logger is on com port six. So when I go into settings, I might as well choose com six, especially since it's the only one I can pick. And if it's not, I'll type it. Then you can check check your baud rate. Um, since 
a typical data logger going straight into the CN2 port of the ECU. You're going to see a bot of 38400. Uh, it's going to be the same thing with the Cobra. Uh, so, but basically, you would use a ostrich or PGMFI when just using a data logger and then set it up as so. If you time out, whenever you try to connect, you can raise this to 300. If you don't get a correct, any kind of handshake here in your debug log, then you might need to flip your TXRX if it's not something like a Hue log that has its own uh, cable, wherever that may be there, there you go. It comes with its own cable, so you don't have to worry about how it hooks up because they have a little proprietary proprietary connector it's not proprietary but it's one that helps uh, make it dummy proof um, so yeah same thing goes for something like the Cobra so you would go up here and choose Cobra and then uh, I have my Cobra right here and then we're gonna go back to our com port helper info com port helper nothing's plugged in Press yes, reach over here and plug it in, choose OK, COM port 4, COM port 5. So we know 4 and 5 are the numbers that we need to set up when we go into settings. So if we uncheck this one, we can say 4 and five we can come out of here connect to our emulator and we're in when you connect to when you try to find the com ports through the com port helper of something like a, a cobra it's going to tell you the emulator com port first usually but you can see how it connected right away. All I did was exactly that, was I learned the COM ports after plugging it in. I put the first one here, the second one here, going from left to right. Speeds are already set by this tool, this option. Uh, you can see how the daemon has a faster data logging speed. Um, and then all the other ones seem to share most of them seem to share the 921 I guess not it's it really varies on your product but yeah 921 600 38 400 and uh, then a lot of people have trouble with HTS logger being checked by default or Bluetooth logger. Um, and then again, you can change this to 300 so your timeout is a little longer. And click out of it and emulator connect. I can't connect to the data logger because it's not inside of an ECU. So it can't open the port. Basically what's that, what that means is that these two wires are not connected to the CN2 port because it's going to pass through the USB to the CN2 to the CN2 of the ECU. And that's where it's saying there's no way I can open that because it's not there. But yeah, again, short video, nine minutes here. Just showing the COM port helper on HTS. Hopefully this helps you get your devices connected. One thing, another troubleshooting step that you can do once you've figured out your COM ports is uh, get it all in here, X out, and then close HTS and reopen it. If that doesn't help, um, you can maybe even try rebooting your computer because your drivers might, might need to be settling in or whatever. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this helps you get your devices connected to HTS up and running, uh, data logging and doing live changes. Again, thanks for watching and have a good day. Peace.